Oh, hey there, YouTube. Uh, I'm here with uh, another unboxing. We got in a Christmas present today, the Radeon HD 5770. I decided to go for AF, or not AFX, excuse me, XFX. And I, I'm excited. The whole, I, I'm not too worried about the iFinity. I mean, I've got one monitor. But one gigabyte of GDR5. That that that's one thing I'm really excited for. Um, let's take a look at the box and see what special features it lists. It's got high definition video, gaming, and photos. That's pretty obvious. It's got universal connectivity to TVs and displays. HDMI with 7.1 surround sound. I have I've got a HDMI port on my monitor, but my graphics card I have now doesn't have HDMI, so I'm actually pretty anxious to test that out and see if I can tell a difference between VGA and HDMI. And it supports ATI Crossfire. And Here's a list of key features, that's what I was wanting to say. One gigabyte of GDDR5 memory, ATI iFinity technology with support for up to three displays. If you go in Crosswire, I believe it's up to six. ATI Stream technology, this is designed for Direct Compute 11 and OpenCL. Accelerated video transcoding, compliant with DirectX 11 and earlier versions, so it supports all versions of DirectX. Supports OpenGL 3.1, dual mode ATI Crossfire technology support for highly scalable performance. ATI Avivo, Avivo, I'm not sure how that's pronounced, but it's HD video and display technology, so probably some type of, I don't know, basically an advertisement, I would say. Dynamic power management with ATI, DisplayPort, PCI Express 2.0, so on and so forth. Okay, you don't care about that too much. Let's open up the box. And one thing I do want to mention, there's a little bit of damage on the box right there. Right up here. Got squished a little bit or something. Uh, shouldn't be a problem. I, I don't think that's anywhere even close to where the graphics card is in here. but we will check for any damage that might have happened during shipping. And yeah, the same thing. There's a little bit right there, right there. This is a cool looking box actually. Kind of a shoebox type thing. The XFX logo right there. I like the presentation. And then they've got Play hard right there. Quick install guide. Installation guide. This is a driver's disc, which we won't be using. I won't be using. Getting my drivers online, the most up to date version. Got, of course, the Do Not Disturb I'm Gaming that XFX seems to give with all their graphics cards. Got a Crossfire Bridge, DVI to VGA, 4-pin mullets to 6-pin PCI Express, which I will not be using. And then we have the graphics card itself, which you can tell it's all the way to the left and it's securely placed over here. So all the damage over here shouldn't affect this in any way. Let's get this opened, take a look, I'll get it installed, and probably show you guys a couple benchmarks. Okay, I've got it out of the package. I gotta say, this thing's beautiful. Got the ATI Radon logo right there, Radeon. You can see the RAM chips on the back, the GPU right there. Crossfire bridges. There's the... 6 pin connector
then there's 5770 at the blower fan right there. There's the ventilation hole right there. Two DVI ports, HDMI, and a display port. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get this plugged into my computer and fire it up and we'll go from there. Okay, running a benchmark right now. Got it all installed. This is a DirectX 11 benchmark. Let's turn off the lights so I can focus on the screen better. Let's take a look at the frames per second you're getting. Thirty-four frames per second. Man, my old graphics card would be going put 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 right now. Wouldn't even stand a chance. Alright, I'm gonna let it run for now and I'll get back to you when the benchmark's completed. And there's my score. My FPS was around twenty-five point five. 641 total score. Let's see if we can get a closer look on the settings. DirectX 11, 1440 by 900 with two times anti-aliasing shaders on. That's not bad for a mid-range graphics card. Not bad at all. Well, I've had the card in for a while. The camera isn't picking it up as well as I thought it was going to, but you can still get a gist of it. You can see I added a new light in on the bottom. Sound activated. It looks awesome. I think I'm probably going to get another one to put on the top. I'm not sure what color, but man, the blue and the green together look awesome, so I might get another green one. But I'm going to get another benchmark program set up real quick, and I'm going to give you guys one more benchmark. Okay, I'm going to run a Grand Theft Auto benchmark, and uh, give you a quick read of the settings, 1440 by 900 for the resolution at 60 Hz, aspect ratio auto, texture quality high, reflection resolution high, water quality very high, shadow quality high, texture filter quality high, I've got the view distance at 32, Detail distance at 75, vehicle density at 75, shadow density at 14, so mostly maxed out. I'm actually going to raise the detail distance as high as it can go and still be in the green level. Oh. So we're going to leave it at 39 it looks like. And that keeps me in the green level with my graphics card still, and then we're going to apply. Yes, and here we go, it started. Everything looks pretty good so far. Doesn't look like it's having any problems with these quality settings. Now for the results. Average frame per second, 52. CPU usage, 70%. System memory, 72%. Video memory, 80%. That, that's pretty good.